Hello YouTube. I want to share with you today my project with Mercedes. I got this beautiful Mercedes just for playing with the vegetable oil. It's a 1981 240D diesel. It's in beautiful condition. There is no spot of rust. It's, it's beautiful inside and everything. It's beautiful. It runs great. Great mileage. I am uh, getting about 42 miles per gallon. What I did here, I read a lot of it on YouTube and on other pages about converting diesel to vegetable oil and it looks pretty simple so what I did over here I'll show you details I put the small tank from lawnmower that I have a vegetable oil in I don't know how you can see it but I hope you will I got a little helper over here Nick Nick, you helping too? <laughs> you wanna sit in the motor well, vegetable oil tank there is a return and on the bottom it's the actually in fuel it goes to a fuel selector switch and you can see it a bunch of hoses all what it is these two it's selecting from the real fuel tank from the motor from the Mercedes this is the vegetable oil fuel tank selector switch will switch it to one hose that goes in my preheater box this is a block aluminum block it has a, on this side has a water in water out so it's inside the loop the block is heating by water hard water from motor it has a relay it has a temperature switch and it has a two glow plugs on each side Inside my car I have a switch that I can turn on this glow box before the water is actually hot. It will preheat all the blocks in like 30 seconds that you cannot hold a hand on it. It's so hot. And the fuel comes in this side, goes in here and goes out here. And it goes out, it goes in my little see-through filter, pre-filter. Yeah, Nicolas is showing us something. And it goes in the, the manual pump. From the manual pump goes to the main filter and from the main filter goes to the fuel injection pump and goes to the cylinders. Here in South Carolina we have pretty hot all the time so I'm not gonna preheat no injector lines or nothing because it's gonna it's it's hot. It's preheating that uh, oil very well and I mean you know we have today 100 degrees. In winter we'll see how it's gonna do but it's working good so that's probably that's probably all for the fuel the lavada lines from the block they goes this is the water lines i popped in this one it's from the inside heater coil it goes from the motor that's actually a return because the water comes out here and this is the in it will come back is Nicolas sitting in the motor? Nick Nick say hello YouTube. Say hey guys, say ahoy. Ahoy, ahoy. Show them Nicolas, show this hose. See this hose is the water in. I popped over here right before the thermostat. Right after the water pump. So the water actually, it's circling before, before the thermostat. It's circling all the time. And we're gonna crank it up and see. Nick Nick, jump out. Inside, inside a car, under the steering wheel, under the keys, I'm on two switches. One switch, it's for on and off that preheater, those glow blocks. One switch is for the fuel selector valve. So we can turn on that heater on and off if we want it to. And now it's running. Nicolas, what are you doing? You wanna look at the switches too? So now we're running on a diesel. And I, if I can switch it without preheat the box because it's pretty hot day today and it's running great just like that. Switch it and go outside. And you can actually see 
on that little filter it's going to change color to the dark to the oil. I don't know if you can see, but I, I can see it will change the color from the green diesel to the brown oil. Oh, Nikolas is adding gas. He wanna go away. Nikolas, what are you doing? You wanna run me over? <laughs> so now we're running on vegetable oil. And it's running just fine, the same like diesel. And you can switch it back on for regular diesel. And you don't even feel it. Switch it. It's running the same. Alright. I'll post some video how I'm driving, but it's driving pretty good, same, same power, smells different, alright.